Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I just wanted to come on with a little project share. I had an opportunity to um, craft today, and I was so excited about it. I made a composition notebook cover because I use composition notebooks all the time because I am just a chronic list maker. So I have a comp book for my garden and then for my weekly menus and then for my crafting ideas. I have them all over the place. And of course I want them to be pretty so I make a lot of composition notebook covers and I needed a new one so I thought I would make one today and then share it with you. I also do have a tutorial on how I create my covers and I will link that up here in the iCards but just so you know if you're a person who likes exact measurements that is not the tutorial for you because I just wing it. But anyway I showed you how I wing it in that tutorial. Um, I decided to make this one out of this beautiful vintage fabric I found at an antique store. It was actually a um, a curtain valance that I then I just cut up to use the material because it's just so so cute and I uh, made this cute little tie um, out of that same material and so then I had I had this eyelet um, just a piece of it and I can't remember where I got it I did purchase it recently I feel like maybe from somebody on YouTube but it it had um, this you know at the top so it reminded me of a heart already so I just cut it out to in, into a heart shape and then I um, sewed it onto this muslin base and then this beautiful um, tool trim in the background comes from Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy which there's a link to that shop below you should definitely go check it out. So this is the uh, pleated tool trim in tan, and she does carry it in several different colors. And it is actually a bit longer than this. I trimmed it down because when I added it to this, it was just too big for the front of this notebook. So when I trimmed it down, I thought it looked much nicer. So I did trim that down. And then all around the edge, I put this beautiful um, beaded trim. And what's nice about this is these pearls are riveted on so you can cut it anywhere and the, the pearls are not going to pop off so they are riveted to the ribbon and then it has this like pleated, uh, pleated tool trim um, on top of the ribbon under the pearls I just think it's so pretty so I did put that all the way um, around uh, I did leave the, the back plain one because it's beautiful and two because I, I do use these and I write and I'm if it gets too bulky in the back it just makes things a little difficult and then I added this half a doily which I got out of her mixed doily pack um, I love the way that looks back there so she does have a lot of doilies so definitely go check that out if you love doilies like I do and then these beautiful flowers right here did come from her shop and she um, carries them in uh, I think four different colors maybe three or four different colors but I believe they're sold out right now, but you could go over and check. But I know that she will be restocking these soon. And then I added a beautiful piece of bling right here, which also she has a beautiful selection of bling. Um, so you should definitely check that out. And then I'm just going to show you uh, the inside. Uh, I have decorated, you know, added like lace on the inside panels before, but I've decided... Uh, against that because adding any more bulk into the inside just makes it difficult for me to use. So this is just a regular uh, a regular old composition notebook that you can get at Walmart or the dollar store and this fits all of them and so it's just a cover that slips slips right on. So it turned out really cute. I love it and I just love my comp notebooks to be cute. So um, I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think below. And make sure you follow the link to Kim's store to see all the beautiful goodies that she has in stock at the moment. And thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next one.